The current extravehicular mobility unit, or EMU, is the result of many years of research and development and is also a powerful tool for operations outside the International Space Station and the shuttle. Now, I spoke with engineer Phil West to find out how it works. Most people have this preconceived idea that a spacesuit is pretty simple, heavy cloth and things, but sure. it's really a mini spacecraft that lets you step out into this very harsh environment. What are the consequences of not wearing a spacesuit? Well, it's a bad day if you don't wear your spacesuit. Yeah. First of all, there's a vacuum in space, right? So just like when you open a soda bottle, it's going to fizz, right? Sure. Your body will do the same thing. And literally what's happening is your, your body fluids, your blood, and everything are going to boil, all right? And it's not because of temperature, it's because of pressure. Remove the pressure and whoosh, that stuff wants to come out. So then you've got temperature extremes. And I don't mean temperature of space. You need molecules to have temperature. But your temperature, the spacecraft temperature, could get very cold or very hot, depending on whether you're in the sun or in the shade or the things around you. Sure. OK, and then there's little particles of natural or human-made stuff that fly around space at high speeds and could, yeah. could literally hit, your, hit you. Yeah. Or micrometeroids, natural stuff that comes in from elsewhere. What are modern spacesuits made out of? Think of the spacesuit as a balloon shaped like your body. All right, and we've got to have a layer to make that balloon. So we use this urethane coated nylon. Okay, that's like camping tent material, but it's got a coating on it to seal it up. And that's the basic layer that holds all the gas in. We put that and we make it the shape of your body. We call it the bladder. Now, what would happen to a balloon if you inflated it too much? And it'll pop. Right, pop, which is bad. So in a spacesuit world anyway. Right. So we got to constrain it. We got to make sure it's the right shape. So we use this polyester layer to give it structure and strength and make sure it's the right shape of your body, the right size, arm length, etc. So that's the first two key layers of the spacesuit. Then remember temperature extremes we talked about? Yes. Okay, we have five layers of aluminized mylar. So now think of the spacesuit as a thermos bottle. You know how a thermos bottle works? It's got a vacuum sure. between an insulator and a glass jar with a silvery coating on it. So that's for thermal protection. And then a real tough layer of what's this? Nomex with Teflon coating on it. I feel that's kind of slick, right? Yeah. And it's got Kevlar woven into it, a very strong fiber. Okay. And that's so you don't get tears and you protect all these other layers very well, right? You don't want to get a hole in here because you don't want to get a hole back here in your no, bladder. You don't, right.